The history of Blarney Castle. The Blarney Castle is known around the world for its famous Blarney Stone. A stone that you kiss at the top of the castle to get the gift of gab. But the castle has so much more than just the stone to offer. It is knee deep in history and rich culture, certainly a place you must visit if you ever go to Ireland. The castle was built almost 600 years ago in the small village of Blarney in County Cork. And since then, millions of people from all over the world have come to visit it. It is one of Ireland's most beloved and treasured landmarks. It is said that once you kiss the stone at the top of the tower, you will get the gift of eloquence. Basically, never being a loss for words. Being able to talk your way out of anything. Now, the exact origin of the Blarney Stone, it's debatable. Some say it was brought to Ireland by the prophet Jeremiah and used as a fatal stone or the stone of destiny uh, to forecast the kings of Ireland. Others say it came from Scotland after a battle. And some say it came from the Crusades. But wherever it came from, there is a mutual belief amongst all that that by kissing the stone you receive the gift of eloquence. As well as the famous stone, the castle has beautiful and magical gardens that you can walk around no matter what the season. In the summer, it, it is the rose beds that are blooming. In the fall, the trees are the most spectacular view. In the winter, there is lovely mystery gardens, a beauty that you just can't describe, and particularly in the lake and the woodland areas. Now the castle you see today is actually the third castle that was built here. The first castle was made from wood and the second of course was made from stone. In the 15th century, the third castle, which is the one we see today, was built by the King of Munster, Dermot McCarthy. The property was sold in the 17th century to Sir James St. John Jeffreys, who was the governor of Cork at the time. At the beginning of the 18th century, his son, by the same name, uh, built a Georgian Gothic house near the castle and laid out a fantastic landscape garden. This is known as Rock Close, which you can visit at the grounds. Um, it is a stunning arrangement of massive boulders and rocks around which is believed to be a druid remain from the prehistoric times. Really, to soak up the brilliance and remarkable history of this castle, you just must visit it and walk around. But don't forget to kiss the stone. We promise it won't disappoint.